understand that there's things that need to be done. And it's not like we weren't trying to get it done, but we don't have ten thousand, five, ten thousand dollars to just pull up to get things done. It takes time. Regina Mingo says she can't believe her husband, Reverend Peterson Mingo, was hauled off to jail for code violations related to this backyard retaining wall. He was put in handcuffs, yes. He was actually arrested. Reverend Mingo says he cannot go into details about the case, but he told a curious neighbor it stems from letters sent that he says were not addressed to him. My name is not William Peterson. My name is Peterson Mingo. Exactly. So I wouldn't open in none of their letters. I was sending them straight back. Right. And so as a result of that, they eventually uh, caught up with me, drug me into court, and asked me what I was going to do about the wall. Court records show the judge was prepared to impose a 100-day sentence. When the city manager and mayor heard about the incident, they personally intervened. The city manager says he spoke with Pastor Mingo to ensure he has the resources necessary to remedy the real estate situation as quickly as possible. Today at City Hall, Regina Mingo said she hopes this sheds light on a situation that others should avoid. Not everyone has the mayor and city manager on speed dial. A longtime neighbor says arresting Mingo, in his opinion, is an overreach. It's a bit much. I never even dreamed. I, in fact, when my sister called me, I was so shocked. I just, I just couldn't believe it. Of all people, the man that tries to help this city, and he's a respectable minister. I, I just don't understand it. The city solicitor says, as a matter of policy, the city does not seek criminal sanctions for building code violations by owner occupants, but a judge can. Mingo says a contractor has agreed to make the repairs for free. I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.